Marami pong salamat for joining us again online for this service. Naniniwala po ako that wherever we are, whatever we are experiencing, God is with us. And now we have a chance to hear God's word. And may we have our hearts ready for whatever it is that God wants to put into our hearts and minds. Naniniwala po ako na sa paggather po natin ngayon through this online platform. Um, God can still truly transform us, change us, mold us, and, and show us how He wants us to be sa mga panahon po na ito and the next. Some people are worrying about what's gonna happen after the lockdown is lifted. May mga tao na nag-aalala, ano, kung handa na ba sila? What if the second wave happens? What if the second wave happens? What if the, what if the second wave hits us? Are we gonna be ready or prepared for that? But also one thing that I want us to think about is um, more than the second wave, are we also ready for our second chance? Second wave, second chance. Yung second chance natin na we get to go out again. You're, you have this um, certain level of freedom that you can do um, what you want when you go outside of your house. Are we ready for that kind of second chance? What are we going to do with that second chance that we have? Alam ko lahat tayo mag- gusto mag-ingat. So we are preparing ourselves. Meron nga tayong tinatawag ng mga PPE, you know? Yung ating mga personal protective equipment. And, and that's really something na uh, kailangan ng mga frontliners po natin. But also, I believe for us, na meron din tayong mga protective equipment na ginagamit. And of course, it has to be personal. Hindi pinapasa, hindi pinagagamit po sa iba. The same thing I believe with how God is dealing us sa panahon po na ito, He's dealing uh, with us in, in such a personal way. Iba-iba man yung mga bagay po na naranasan po natin, but we know that one God is working with each one of us. So why not, before we dive into this word, let's pray together. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to hear your word. Marami pong salamat sa mga katotohanan na nais mo na ilagay po sa mga buhay po namin. Pagpalaay mo pong bawat isa, proteksyonan at ingatan. At Lord, sa oras po na ito, hayaan mo na makatagpo ka po namin. Lord, we are constantly praying for our frontliners and for the leaders of our nations. Ikaw po, Panginoon, ang magpala sa bawat isa. Give them wisdom, give them understanding. God, may you lead them through this season. Naniniwala po kami, Panginoon, na ang aming tagumpay ay nasa iyong mga kamay. God, we honor you. We bless your name. And allow us, God, to have a heart that follows you, a heart that seeks for more of you. We honor you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Second wave versus second chance. Second wave versus second chance. Ito yung bagay na iniisip natin sa mga panahon po na ito. No? Maybe, uh, I don't know how that looks like for you. But for me, I'm thinking, ano ba yung mga bagay that I was supposed to do when I can do it so freely back then? Tapos ngayon na naka-lockdown, parang iniisip ko, I should have done that. Dapat ginawa ko to, dapat ginawa ko yan. Sana nung may time na open pa yung church, I could have served more. You know, I, I, I could have um, done so much more. I could have won some people to Christ. Sana ginamit ko yung pagkakataon na to. And, and, and you know what? We are possibly thinking about things like these. But... What does God want us to do kung mayroong mga ganitong kaisipan po sa atin pong buhay? Is it too late? I don't think so. Niniwala po ako na may chance pa para po sa atin. That's why we're given this time of some sort of hibernation. Para sa mga pagkakataon po na ito, we can think about um, what am I gonna do when I go out? What can I do right now? Even while we are at home, na may mga bagay may isip natin, akala mo magagawa mo lang siya noong hindi pa quarantine, Pero ng- ngayong quarantine, pwede pala, posible pala. You know what, I, I've seen a lot of people right now in the time of quarantine, kung kailan pa quarantine, tsaka pa sila nagkaroon ng business. At hindi lang sila basta nagkaroon ng business, kundi nag-grow pa yung business nila. Wherein, during the time of quarantine, they weren't doing business. You know, they were doing something else. So, may mga bagay po, no, na binibigyan tayo ng Diyos ng pagkakataon po ngayon na magawa ito. And I believe it's not just in the secular sense but especially, you know, in a spiritual sense, especially in, in, uh, in serving Him, in, in, in honoring Him, in allowing Him to use our lives. I want us to look at this verse in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 14. Remind the believers of these things, charging them before God to avoid quarreling over words which succeeds only in leading the listeners to ruin. 
make every effort to present yourself approved to God, an unashamed workman who accurately handles the word of truth. Right? Merong reminder para daw sa mga believers. But mostly on this part of 2 Timothy chapter 2, ang um, pinag-uusapan po dito, you know, is, is a leader in the church. A leader in the church. Sabi po dito sa verse 16, But avoid irreverent empty chatter, which will only lead to more ungodliness. And the talk of such men will spread like gangrene. Among them are Hymenaeus and Philetus, who have deviated from the truth. They say that the resurrection has already occurred and they undermine the faith of some. Ito daw yung ginagawa nung iba. No? During that time, they were undermining the faith of others. Okay? And causing some quarrel in the ministry or in the church. Verse 19, Nevertheless, God's firm foundation stands bearing this seal. The Lord knows those who are His, and everyone who calls on the name of the Lord must turn away from iniquity. Okay? So, ito yung charge sa kanila, yung sinasabi po sa kanila. And then, in verse 20, sabi doon, A large house contains not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay. Some indeed are for honorable use, but others are for common use. Verse 21, So if anyone else cleanses sorry, himself of what is unfit, he will be a vessel for honor, sanctified, useful to the master, and prepared for every good work. Kanina kinakausap po yung mga leaders na, and, and this is what you're supposed to do, you know. Um, this is the task that you need to, uh, to function in. Do not cause trouble or quarrels. And I, I believe also that's for, for every believer. Na we're not supposed to be living, uh, living that kind of life where um, we, we quarrel about a lot of stuff. Pero sabi doon, be able to handle the word of truth. Be able to handle the word properly. And then, dito sa last part, no, sinasabi dito sa verse 20 and verse 21, kung ano daw po yung, uh, um, yung, yung gamit ng bawat isa. A large house contains not only vessels of gold and silver. Meron ding wood and clay. Some indeed for honorable use, but others are for common use. May honorable use, may common use, but everyone has a use. Everyone has a work to do. So if anyone cleanses himself of what is unfit, he will be a vessel of honor, sanctified, useful to the master, and prepared for every good work. Talking about this, sa buhay po ng bawat isa, it's so important that we know what is the work that God wants us to do. What is the work that God wants us to do? Sa mga panahon po ba ito ng quarantine, we're only able to work from home para dun sa mga trabaho po natin, uh, uh, sa, sa mga businesses, sa mga company na pinagkatrabahohan po natin, we're able to work from home. But are we also not able to work for God in our home? Work for the glory of God? Work for the, for the uh, plans of God? You know? Sabi dito, everyone can be prepared. and Everyone is actually prepared for good work. God wants to prepare us for good work. If there's a good work, it means that there's a good goal. There's a good um, specific target that must happen or that must be achieved. And yun yung pwede nating tawagin dito na purpose. Okay, that's the first point. Purpose. What is the purpose that which God has called us, you know, in this season? Ano yung purpose ng Lord para sa iyo? We've been asking God, what is the purpose of this season in my life? But at the same time, pwede rin natin tanangin si God, God, what is my purpose in this season, in this situation? What am I supposed to do? If I am a believer, if I am a follower of Christ, if I am really devoting myself to serve God, honor God with my life, I've dedicated my life to Jesus, how am I going to be able to do that in this season, in this such uh, unusual and a unique situation para sa bawat sa pusa atin. No? Paano kita mapaglilingkuran ngayon, Lord? If we w- actually want to know what we're supposed to do, ito daw yung bagay na dapat nating gawin. Right? If anyone cleanses himself of what is unfit, he will be a vessel of honor, for honor, sanctified, useful to the Master, and prepared for every good work. 
Whatever our work for God might look like, the first step that we must do is to allow ourselves to be cleansed. Cleansing himself. So, sinabi po dito, no? Anyone who cleanses himself. And I believe if it's anyone who cleanses itself, himself, it means that it's a personal decision that we must do. It's a personal decision. It's a personal discipline that we must um, practice sa life po natin in order for us to remove whatever is unfit in our lives. Ano po yung unfit? Ano po yung mga bagay na dapat wala na po sa buhay natin? Ano po yung mga bagay na dapat hindi na po natin ginagawa? Ano po yung mga bagay na dapat hindi na natin pinagugugula ng ating pong panahon na alam natin nakakasira ng relasyon po natin sa Diyos? Whatever is unfit. You see, at this season, God wants to make you fit. Fit for what? Fit for work. Fit for work for His glory, for His honor. Fit for work that we may have this satisfied life in Christ, following Him. Bakit satisfied life in Christ? Because we know, see Jesus Christ, for Him to be able to live His life, He lived a sanctified, you know, He, he lived such a holy life. He, he lived a life of purpose. He knew what was about to happen. He knew where He was going. He was going to the cross to pay for the sins of the world. He was able to do that. Why? He had His purpose in mind. And the goal that was set before Him, the joy that was set before Him, sigurado si Jesus eh, that only if I follow the will of the Father, my life will be satisfied. That's the only way our purpose is fulfilled, then we'll be satisfied in this life. That's why I was asking po kanina, no, what are we going to do? Not just when the second wave hits, or I'm, I'm, I'm trying to say yung second chance. Ano pong ginagawa natin to prepare ourselves? Or actually to, to have that second chance. It's not yet too late. We have an opportunity right now, right here today, and even for the days to come, and even after the lockdown is lifted, we can serve God. There is another chance, there is a hope, you know, na maaari pa rin tayong gamitin ng Panginoon, but how? We must be ready to decide within ourselves. This is something that's, 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 that's wrong. This is something that I, I don't want to do anymore. I don't want to live my life this way. You must decide to remove what is unfitting. You must decide to remove whatever it is that God doesn't want to be there. Ano kaya yung mga bagay po na yun? We, we, we got to be able to ask God of these, uh, of these questions. And Lord, what is unfit right now in my life? And I want to be able to be used by you, so help me, God. And I believe God will help us. I believe that God will strengthen us. I believe that God will, 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 will show us His grace, His enabling grace, para mapagtagumpayan natin yung mga bagay po na yun na alam natin, God, I know that this is unfit, but I know that your power is without limit. So I want to overcome this thing, and, and be, because you are with me, I know na ma-overcome ko ito. But we gotta decide. We have to decide, God, I don't want this anymore because I want to be used by you. So we understand that God has a purpose over our lives, right? The purpose of God over our lives. If it's in chapter 2, verse 1, And you were dead in the trespasses of sin and sins, in which you once walked following the course of this world following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience, among whom we all once lived in passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, like the rest of mankind. But God, being rich in mercy because of the great love which, with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved. 
and raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus so that in the coming ages he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. Yung buhay daw po natin noon, sinasabi po dito that we were dead in the trespasses and sins. We were, we were living a life following uh, our, the course of the world. You know? Pinafollow lang po natin kung ano yung, um, yung culture, anong sinasabi ng society. Yun daw po yung buhay natin dati. Ang buhay daw po natin ay sumusunod sa agos lamang. No? Sabi nga nila, only dead fish goes with the flow. Right? So, uh, sa atin, we want to go against the flow. We know ano yung itsura po ng buhay natin before and we don't want to go back there. So, what we want to do is to keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming to get to where God wants you to be. And where are we swinging? Swimming. We are actually swimming in the grace of God. Such a deep, deep grace of God. The power of God over our lives enables us na hindi na po tayo mamuhay doon sa dati nating buhay. So, we go back to the verse among whom we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, like the rest of mankind. That's what it looked like. Ayun daw po yung mga purposes natin before. Ang, ang ginagawa lang natin, we follow the passions of our flesh. Which is, you know, I, I believe that's really the truth of how our lives look like. Bago natin makilala si Jesus and bago po natin siya hayaan na maghari sa buhay po natin. And, and when we are living in that kind of life, yun po doon nasasayang ang buhay ng isang tao. Because we're not uh, meant to be in this world to live such a life. If, if God has designed our lives, therefore, He knows the specific purpose of what our life must look like. What our life must turn out to be. So, um, so verse 4, But God being rich in mercy because of the great love with which He loved us, because of the great love of God, He saved us by His grace and raised us up with Him. And so, so that in the coming ages, He might show the immeasurable riches of His grace and kindness toward us. In Christ, gusto ng Lord ipakita yung kanya pong kabutihan sa mga buhay po natin. He wants us also to become that reflection. Yung reflection ng goodness niya. Reflection ng faithfulness niya. Reflection ng love niya. To whoever it is that He allows, you know, to, 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 to encounter us, to meet us, you know. And um, dito po sa verse 8, I, I love this verse. For by grace you have been saved by, uh, through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. For we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. All right, we're talking about the purpose a while ago. And if that purpose is real for our lives, how will the purpose be fulfilled through a person, through our lives? So yung bawat isa po sa atin, we as a person, me as a person, meron na si Lord na plano, sabi dito, good works which the Lord has planned before long. Dati pa, bago pa tayo panganak. But then, because of our old desires, hindi natin naintindihan noon na meron pala tayong ganitong klaseng purpose. Hindi po natin naintindihan noon, ito pala yung dapat po nating tahakin. And, and, and sabi po dito, no, um, we are saved by grace through faith. Hindi po tayo nasisave dahil sa mga works po natin. That is something very, very important we need to understand as Christians. Hindi po natin pwedeng pagtrabahuhan ang ating kaligtasan. But, kung ikaw ay tunay na katanggap ng kaligtasan, ikaw ay automatically magkakaroon ng desire to work. Magkakaroon ka ng desire to work something, to do something for the glory of God who saved you. Yung, yung works po natin, ito ay result ng ating salvation now that you are saved, now that you know that God loves you, now that you know that He forgiven your sins. Now, ma, ma, magkakaroon tayo ng panibagong desire and, and those who are truly saved will truly work for God. 
those who are truly saved will truly work for God. Because naintindihan natin how wonderful, how great, you know, gano katindi ito pong sacrifice ni Jesus that we ourselves don't want to devalue yung pong matinding presyo na ipinangbayad po ng Diyos para sa buhay ng bawat isa. And now, tayo po, no, that's point number two, person. Tayo po, as a person, we need to understand this. That as a person, we are saved by grace through faith once we um, receive Jesus in our lives. We ask for forgiveness of our sins. But now, after that, after we are saved, we're given a second chance. A second chance kung saan, now, we're not running after the desires of the flesh, we're not after running the desires of the world, but now, we're running after the desires of God. You know, one thing no, about prayer, I want us to check this out for a bit. Yung prayer po natin, no, every time that we pray, may mga, mga uh, marami po sa atin ang desire natin pang nagpray tayo, Lord, uh, sagutin mo itong bagay na gusto ko, Lord. But one thing that God really wants to do is not for us to just be voicing out ano yung mga desires natin, but really allowing Him to direct our desires, to renew our desires, until such point na obabo tayo sa punto na, Lord, what is your desire? Kung ano yung desire mo, Lord, I want that. Kung ano yung desire mo, God, kung ano yung heartbeat mo, Lord, I want to live by that. You get the point? Hindi po tayo just praying and praying just for things to happen uh, according to what would please us, what we would enjoy, and what we would love. But we are actually praying that God, God, help me. God, allow me to understand what your heart beats for. I want to know your heart. I want to know your heart. His desires over ours. His desires directing our path. That's what I believe needs to happen if we want to be able to prepare ourselves for a second chance. Prepare for a second chance. First point is purpose. Second point is person. And number three is equipping. Equipping. I believe what God is doing right now in this season is also He is equipping us. Before we get equipped, we first understand kung ano yung limitations. Para, para ka ma-equip ng tama, kailangan mo munang ma- malaman kung ano yung mga limitations mo. What is lacking in you? What is missing? You know? And naniniwala po ako para sa wakas sa atin, marami pong kulang sa atin. You know why Jesus came to the world? You know why Jesus came and gave His life to the world? Okay, Mark chapter 2, verse 17. Mark chapter 2, verse 17. I want you to see this. Narinig iyon ni Jesus, reading from Tagalog, okay? Kaya sinagot niya ang mga ito, ang mga taong walang sakit ay hindi nangangailangan ng doktor, kundi ang mga may sakit. Naparito ako hindi upang tawagin ang mga taong matuwid sa kanilang sariling paningin, kundi ang mga makasalanan, right? That was the deal. We are sinners. Jesus came to save the sinners. Jesus came to save the sinners to show us, you know, mga patid, we cannot really cleanse ourselves by our own power and strength. But Jesus came, sabi niya, parang isang doktor, dumating siya para doon sa mga may sakit. Do you agree with me, you know, when I say na yung mga pagkakamali o mga pagkukulang po natin sa buhay natin, it's causing us a lot of pain? It hurts. And sometimes because of the, uh, the, the mistakes you know, and the sin that is in our lives, what happens to us? We are living in pain. We are living in constant pain. If we are not the ones in pain, we may be causing pain to others. Just passing the pain from one person to another, hurting this person next and this person next. So because of sin, because of that virus, that virus that is sin, that virus that is um, y- yung, yung kasalanan po ng tao, uh, Jesus came so that He can heal us. Yes, we are believing and praying that at this time, 
you know, really God would heal those who are sick because of the virus, you know, that we are experiencing. But at the same time, I pray and declare, I believe for internal healing, emotional healing, spiritual revival para sa bawat isa. I pray that in our homes and in our communities, no, yung mga, ba, yung mga tao po magkaroon talaga ng awakening, understanding na God, we have sinned against you. Forgive us, Lord, for all our sins, for all that we've done wrong, for all the mistakes, for all the lies that we've said, for all the things we have done. God, forgive us. Only you can heal us. And, you know, when we become um, Christians, when we become followers of Jesus Christ, hindi naman din po automatic that's all of a sudden, biglang, Ang babait na natin, ang aayos na agad ng buhay po natin. There's a process that happens. So here in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 1, we were dead in our trespasses. We already know that, right? Our old life. This is how our old life looked like, but then Christ raised us up. He raised us up. He gave us new life so that we may be ready for this second chance. And for that second chance that He's given us, He's equipping us. That's the third point, equipping us. God is equipping us in this season, reminding us that, you know what? You have a lot of limitations. Marami tayong mga di kayang gawin. We all have these imperfections in our lives. And therefore, ito pa mga imperfection natin should lead us to be dependent fully on God in whatever aspect of our lives. We must be dependent on the Lord. We want to serve God. We want to honor God. We need His grace enable for, uh, in order for us to be able to do that. Kung gusto po natin mamuhay ng kalugod-lugod sa Diyos, mamuhay ng uh, ma-honor talaga po si God sa life po natin, we need His grace. We need the power that raised Jesus from the dead. The Spirit of God. The Spirit of God must be in us. If you want, you know, to be equipped for us to be able to um, not waste, yung hindi natin sayangin yung second chance. Kung sino dito yung ayaw mong sayangin yung second chance mo, I don't want to waste my second chance. I, I know for sure you don't want to waste your chances whenever God gives you one. And, and dito po, no, in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 to 23, I believe this is what you need. This is what God is growing in our lives right now. This is how God is equipping us to be able to live out and not waste our second chance. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance or patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such, there is no law. This is the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit. Hindi po ito um, fruits of the Holy Spirit. It's the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Because sabihin, one fruit, pero ito yung mga kasama doon sa isang fruit po na yun. So we cannot just say, I'm just a person of love, I'm just a person of joy, I'm just a person of peace, but I'm not patient. We cannot really say that. When, when we are living by the Spirit, when we have received Jesus in our lives, and we allow the Holy Spirit to come in, we're asking God, God, I don't want to waste my second chance, and I know na hindi ko to magagawa kung hindi kita kasama. And, and this is what God is giving us, this fruit of the Spirit. The Holy Spirit with us in our lives, giving us the ability to live by this fruit. Ito, ito pong mga uh, aspeto na to, ng, ng bunga na ito, ng pagiging buhay sa Espiritu, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These are the things that God wants us to, you know, um, to bring out sa mga buhay po natin. And just like any other fruit, sometimes it takes time bago lumabas yung fruit. Tama po ba? Maybe some of us are practicing gardening sa mga panahon na ito. At sa pagtatanim po natin, hindi naman tayo agad-agad nakakakita ng bunga. It takes time. 
But slowly, these things are being molded. And you know what? What if at this moment, God is using this COVID um, experience natin, no? to bring out really the fruit of the Spirit sa buhay po natin. That's so that when this fruit finally um, fully matures sa mga buhay po natin, no? na naranasan po natin na ito na talaga yung nagiging buhay po natin, or kung hindi man, pinaglalaban natin na dito uh, or ganito yung magipong ugali natin, yung buhay po natin, yung response natin sa mga tao po sa paligid natin. And as we do that, we are able to not waste this second chance that God has given us. When we're finally out after the quarantine, what are you gonna do? Where are you gonna go? Who are you gonna reach out to? Or even right now, na nasa quarantine pa po tayo, it's, it's still a, a, a few weeks bago po i-lift yung quarantine. But still after that, you know, I believe it's, it's still gonna be um, a lot more screen time for us. Mar- marami pa rin tayong ganito. It's, everything's mostly online right now. But I know that even online, God can use you to bless somebody. Even online, God can use you to reach out to someone who is in need. Even online, I believe God can use you to share the gospel to someone who's discouraged, to someone who is in pain, to someone who is uh, experiencing a lot of trouble sa buhay po nila sa mga panahon na ito. Bakit hindi po natin gawin na tuwing tayo po ay online, look at your friends list. Yung iba sa atin po, talaga naman libo-libo yung mga kaibigan po natin. But who among those friends listed on your friends list, sino sa kanila yung napaglilingkuran natin, nababahagi na natin ang salita ng Diyos, na ipagpe-pray natin, o sino sa kanila yung mga tao na alam mo ano yung mga pangangailangan nila sa buhay, at meron tayo talagang ginagawa upang sila ay matulungan sa kanila pong mga pinagdadaanan. Now could be a season for us to take time and, and, and live out this purpose that God has intended for us to live you know, way, way before. We, we do not wait for perfection before we take action. We do not have to wait for perfection before we take action. You are God's masterpiece, prepared for every good work. I believe the idea of that statement in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10 is, Know who created you, and the one who created you has the power to, you know, make you fulfill that good work. Nasarin naman yung nagbigay. Nasarin naman yung nagtask sa atin. Ano kayang good work po yun? Are you ready for the second wave? Are you ready for the second chance? Why not we pray at this moment? Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word that you've given us today. Ayaw po namin sayangin yung pagkakataon na binibigay mo po sa amin for us to be able to live with purpose, for us to be able to live a life that glorifies you. Yung hindi na po namin hinahabol yung passions ng world, but we are following the passion of Christ. God, may you be glorified sa buhay po ng bawat isa. I pray, Lord, that you touch every heart today. I pray, Lord, na sa bawat isa po sa amin, hayaan mo na maging malinaw ano po yung direksyon na nais mong tahakin namin sa buhay po na ito. We only got one life to live. But thank you, Lord. We are so grateful that you've given us this opportunity to live out this second chance we have in you. We thank you, God, and we honor you. We bless your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you guys for joining us for the service. Kung first time nyo po na makapag-join sa amin, no, I want to encourage you, please do message us. 
um, go to our Facebook page and send a message there and we'd be so glad na makipag-connect po sa inyo, makausap po kayo, masagot po ang mga katanungan po ninyo. Please, kung first time po kayo dito, wag niyong hayaan na umalis kayo dito sa sa ay, sa pag-online mo ngayon nang hindi ka nagme-message. Please mag-message po kayo. Let us know that you were with us today and so we can pray for you, so that we can contact you, so that we can get to know you and we can get you know, to know more together about Christ. So, marami pong salamat sa bawat isa. I hope that we continue to um, spread the message of the gospel however it is na uh, binibigay sa atin ng Lord yung opportunities. And at the same time, you know, every Thursday we have this um, content for the youth, just a reminder for us, unite, join us. Unite every Sunday. That's 9 p.m. and and also if uh, for the Bible studies, please do. I encourage you. We want to live out yung purpose po ng ng Lord sa buhay po natin. We want to constantly be developed. The Bible studies would really help us to do this. So thank you once again. We are blessed. We are highly favored. We are unbound. God bless you guys. <music>